Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. On this episode, I'm going to introduce to you an old Iranian house known as Ehsan, located on Fazl Naraghi Street in Kashan City. This place dates back to 200 years ago when Qajar dynasty was ruling over Iran. In comparison to other houses, this one looks pretty small, but there are some sections which are designated for the library and in another part there are residential areas for receiving guests and visitors. Considering that Kashan city has a hot and dry climate during the summer season, each house was built in a way to have a different level in comparison to the alley, which means when you come into the house, there is a mild steep way that leads you to the courtyard. Having a lower level made the water flow more easily into the house. At that time, due to lack of plumbing facilities, people used channels to access the water of aqueducts. Another feature of these kinds of Iranian houses is a two-floor structure. This feature is advantageous, especially during the summer season. The lower floor is cooler because of the pool trees that make the shades by their foliage and the difference in the height that in turn makes the hot air current flows upward. In Iranian architecture, symmetrical design is conspicuous and this has three main reasons. One of them is that symmetric patterns made the facade more fascinating and secondly, this kind of design made the whole building stronger. Thirdly, in case of any damage to the building, masons could easily copy the remaining structure design for renovating devastated parts. The porch was used during hot seasons. Nowadays, it's furnished with traditional furniture and has flower pots to create a beautiful scene. Pools, trees, and flowers are inseparable from Iranian architecture. Fish and fountains double down the beauty of this port and also create a serene mood for visitors. The living room, which is called Shah Nashin in Persian language, is decorated with colorful windows this part was used for holding special ceremonies like weddings or family gatherings. Nowadays, these parts are designated for VIP guests and equipped with modern technologies like the internet and other stuff, plus a magnificent chandelier and cozy king-size beds with some decorating stuff like and antique lamp to create an ancient theme. Ceiling have a geometrical design which shows the uniqueness of Iranian architecture. This house has a separate section for exhibition of ancient artifacts that were used during that time. Among all of them, some clay dishes are glazed with some materials to avoid leaking the liquids inside of them. We have some other kinds of clay dishes created to hold flour or wheat. And some special dishes are used for holding and pouring beverages. At that time people used a mortar and a small millstones to crush wheat and other hard materials these stone mortars has a handle that is also made of stone. 
but for mashing food and the meat, they used a wooden mallet. Two old chests for protecting clothes from moths. A dish that works as a canteen and dates back to Hachalmanishi dynasty, with three goats at its base. A waist and a short and stout dish for holding sugar cubes. A wooden rolling pin for kneading bread and a giant pot for making a stew. An old lamp that burned kerosene to light the surroundings and two decorating dishes used as a lamp as well. I should mention that this place has a museum for showing old paintings. At that time, some doors look like a lattice were used for creating a natural air circulation in the rooms. Nowadays, these rooms are used as B&B. Roofs were built in an arch form to avoid the accumulation of water during precipitation. Aside from that, the arch form increases the durability of the roof to endure the pressure perpetually. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Let me know your opinion in the comment section. And if you like, please subscribe to my channel and wait for new videos.